Well, it's been quite the turnaround for the Montana Grizzlies, whose season got off to a rocky start, but has turned into a campaign that is on the doorstep of a top two or three seed in the FCS playoffs. So let's take a look back and see how Montana got to this point. Montana's non-conference season started with a win over Butler as the Grizzlies showcased their new quarterbacks in Clifton McDowell and Sam Vidlak. The Grizz hit the road for a blowout win at Utah Tech and followed that with a night game and record attendance in blackout uniforms as they squeaked past reigning D2 champ Ferris State to start the year 3-0. And that's a touchdown for the Northern Arizona University Lumberjacks. But disaster struck Montana in Flagstaff as the Grizz fell to Northern Arizona to begin Big Sky play and the soul searching began. They ran into a buzzsaw here. From there, the Grizzlies got back on track as McDowell took the reins of the offense officially against Idaho State and UM got their first conference win. After that, the Grizz began to turn things around and morph into the team they are today as they defeated UC Davis on the road in a ranked matchup before hitting the road again to take on then number three Idaho, where Montana put the FCS world on notice with a statement win over the Vandals to reclaim the Little Brown Stein. As the offense was humming, while the Grizz defense began causing fits for opponents once again. Over the middle, it's picked off. Montana with the interception, still on his feet. The 10, five, and that's a touchdown for the Montana Grizzlies. A win over Northern Colorado was followed by another top 10 matchup against Sacramento State. And under the lights at Washington Grizzlies Stadium, the Grizzlies rolled past the Hornets as records fell, including the longest touchdown from scrimmage in program history, while Bobby Houck became the all-time winningest coach in Big Sky Conference history. That was followed by a win over Portland State. And that all leads up to this moment as the Grizzlies get set to take on their fierce in-state rival in the first top five clash between these two schools in a game that has massive playoff implications and will be a meeting that will have Montanans talking for years to come. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.